Hm. Um, boop -a -doop -boop -doop -boop. Yeah, if we could turn off the disabled and uh, pull down the pin message. Absolutely. That'd be great. Donka donka. Mm -mm -mm. 5,000 codes will be issued every 12 hours during the event. The eligibility list will be updated with each code issued. Please ensure you are on both the eligibility list and the once human official server. Uh, Maru Aru, what is the eligibility list and how do people view that? Turn off the disabled. Oh, turn off the repeating, maybe even. Yeah. That'd probably be good. How do we know if we get in the beta or not after subbing? You, know, you don't need to sub anywhere. Uh, you need to join their Discord and then fill out the survey on their Discord. Yeah. And then when you are selected, I'm assuming you'll get either a Discord PM or a email or something. I don't know, to be honest. Go ahead and drink up. Go. So fastest way there looks to be to the left. Uh, Repo. I mean, that's true, but not for the reasons he's talking about. But yes, absolutely. I've heard subbing to Co-Carnage on Twitch increases your sex drive, your overall health, lowers your cholesterol. Only the bad, of course. Um... You know, there's a lot of very positive health reasons to sub to Kill Carnage. None of these which are accurate, but, you know, could be. Maybe. I don't know. Placebo effect's a real thing. Immunity to fire. Yep, that's a good one, too. Absolutely. That comes with a sub to Kill Carnage. Mm-hmm. Um, how do we do this? Do we, do we keep following this? I think we just go over this bridge. Okay. <clears throat> How do we honk? Oh my god. Wait, do they even have like the actual Doppler effect in this? It'd be amazing. Artie Town says, subbing for all those perks for the 29 months. Thank you. Man, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, can we use more sulfur? I feel like we can use more sulfur. Let's get some over here. Deer. I need like a sniper for deers. Dang, level 12? We gotta we gotta clear out a couple of these areas quickly and immediately uh get our T2 weapon going. It's gonna be such a big deal when we get that working. The tiering of the weapons is is massive in this. You can go from like tickling an enemy to Completely wiping it out uh, just by upgrading the tier of a weapon. Well, that's a thing. I haven't seen this before. What's this? <laughs> I got stuck out of the world. He's like, have a, have a D, Sadassin. Okay. Good show. Hey, Bajin. Thank you so much for your 20 gift bomb. Dang, sir. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate that support. Welcome to the 20 new folks. That's a lot of fire immune people. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right, help. Hold it right there and identify yourself. Can you see my mayfly? You ever hear of the mayflies? I'm here to solve problems, not cause them. Oh, yeah. You've got one of those weird backpacks. A uh, cradle, right? We had an oh, thank you, come by uh, Barry. Not Whoops. Long ago. He didn't exactly impress anyone. So, you're here to clean up his mess? We've got a pretty urgent Stardust problem. But, how do I know you'll actually Thanks, Penance. help? Did I, finish, did I already finish Dragon's Dogma 2? I did. I already finished Dragon's Dogma 2 after 72 hours. Um, yes. 
I can't promise anything, but I'll try it if you let me in. I can't make any promises if I don't know what's going on. It's like going to the doctor. You gotta diagnose the illness before you can solve it. Well, at least you're a better talker than that last mayfly. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna check with the mayor. I'm right here. Let the mayfly in. Oh. Understood, ma'am. Well, that was easy. Okay. I'm not quite sure why I'm under the ground. Uh, where's the... Isn't there, like, a tower here? Is there no tower here? Oh, can we just warp to here? Start point locked. Wait, what? What is going on here? Maybe we have to do the mayor. Let's, let's talk to her. Excuse me, ma'am. You're the mayor? Maxi Rodriguez. I'm the mayor here. Straightforward. I like that. I'm a mayfly. You've probably never heard of me, but I heard about your town when I was traveling north. You've got something strange going on here? Strange is putting it lightly. It's been about half a year now. Pregnant animals here, even pregnant people. All get infected by stardust and turn into these trees. Mm -hmm. Not normal trees either. We tried everything to save them. None of it worked. You can go ahead and see for yourself. There's some strange shit, all right. Okay. Oh, the cradle override system is unlocked and is accessed from the right entrance after opening the cradle screen. Cradle has the override features that can dramatically improve combat abilities and need to be matched to nodes to take effect. They need to be gradually unlocked through exploration and combat. And every season has a different cradle which can be centered around the override features. Oh, I didn't realize every season had a different cradle. We'll do SMG damage boost. Um, let's do rifle amplify. Oh, wait. Oh, we only have access to one. Oh, medicine cooldown is 30% healing effect 15. That's not bad. LMG reload boost, sniper rifle crit boost. Yeah, we're just going to do this for now. No. We'll just do this for now. Cool. How many? Wait, how long is this list? Oh, is this it? Okay. This is the whole list. Gotcha. And then we can mix and match all of them based on what we want to do. Cool. Okay. Hey, it's Domi is that is that the Dominions I know? Is that you, Dominions? All right, I'm gonna try to read. What's up, man? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? How are you? I'm good. Just uh, trying this game out. I'm finally get in this time. Hell yeah, man! How you liking it? So far, so good. It's uh, pretty fun. Very nice. Uh, random question before I run off: You playing on the new Prog servers? I, I love playing EQ, but then once it becomes rating is required, I, I lose interest. I'm kind of the same, kind of in the same boat, especially these days. Anyway, man, good to see you. Catch you later. Yep, you too. Cool. Yep, that's pretty much what I do in every progression server. Okay, we can't, like, I have some weird-ass bug going now. I've got to relog. Um, exit game. Yeah, we got it. We got to relog. That was very weird. Whoa! On the full. Hello, Cohen Chat. Yesterday I got engaged. I wanted to say, despite the fact that my relationship with this channel has been so very long, I will hold you close, chat. My impending marriage does not change our longer term relationship. Good vibes. <laughs> From On the Full. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. That is actually awesome, brother. And more importantly, big congratulations. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. You play the EQ on Project Lazarus. Sweet server if any want to be in your own raid group. Cool, man. Yeah, I was playing... Is that... That's not secret server, right? I was playing on secret server a little bit. Um, but there's some new progression servers coming up soon. I think I'm going to fire up a character on there, maybe. How, how much longer till more Emberville? 
soon. I actually have a meeting on Monday. And uh, depending on how that goes, we may have some dates for you soon. We'll see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Soon TM for Emberville info. Okay, that seems to have fixed our our thing. Perfect. What's that? Are you a mushroom lady? What the hell is this? Sproutlet? Obtained through cargo scuffle rewards? Wait, what is all this? What in the hell is this? When unstable bomber is triggered, the unstable bomber damage increases. Each time fast gunner is triggered, it gains a bonus to reload. Huh. Does this stuff get used on these? Is that called fast gunner? No, it's called LMG Reload Boost. That's not it. So that must be for something else. That's PvP currency. It's a PvP event, but with no losses for losing. Those are mods for weapons. Oh. Cool. Look at this guy. Who are you? You are... Stellar Pranula. Oh... Long range las laceration. Wait, what do these do? Are these bugged? Oh, these are just like, are these like minor versions of the... Yeah, these are all gear mods, but... Hmm. Bajin with the $200 tip to the mod team. Mods can't ever say thank you enough for all your hard work. Good vibes to all of you. Bajin with the $200 tip to the mods. Thank you so much, man. That's huge. It's actually huge. Really appreciate it. Hey, Maxin. Maxi. Learn about the situation. Now, let's get down to business. We've got nowhere else to go. And so far, no one else who can solve this problem. Two months ago, a mayfly going by the name of Talon arrived. We hired him to fix the problem. Instead, he ran away with his deposit. I'm not I hope this game is not a pay-to-win situation. Mayflies, but I also it's not. Have any other options. Not right now, it's not. You'd better not let us down like he did. Here's all the information. And you make your own decision. This is a free-to-play game. There are no current pay-to-win elements. It is developed by a company named Starry Studio. The development company has pledged that they do not like pay to win and will not put any pay to win in the game. The game is published by NetEase. And that is all the information. So the, the TLDR is this game rocks in a big part because it's not pay to win. The devs want to keep it that way but it is being published by a company that is rather well known for putting a lot of pay to win in games. So we're in that kind of weird situation where it's like, we're being told it's not gonna be pay to win, the devs are telling us it's not gonna be pay to win, but a lot can change <laughs> in six months. <laughs> um, I mean, we, we unfortunately live in a world where if NetEase decided that this game was gonna be popular enough, they could just buy out the dev studio and do whatever they want. Like, that's the world we live in. So, I mean, it's, you know, like, it doesn't matter what the devs say. I mean, there's, 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 there's situations where it wouldn't be their decision. Um, but that being said, if the game stays exactly how it is and there, and no pay to win gets put into it, this is going to be, this game is going to be actually gigantic. Like, the fact that, that this game is this level of quality, this fun to play, and also free, 
and then would not make you stronger for putting money into it, that's like unheard of. <laughs> that's like literally unheard of these days. Um, so if this, if the game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna be blunt. If this game makes it to release and still doesn't have any pay to win mechanics, and I mean even mechanics that are gray, I mean if it's black and white, not pay to win, that is gonna be one of the first times we've seen something like this in gaming. How do they make money? Uh, they have cos a lot of cosmetics, a lot of cosmetic stuff. And the devs have pledged that nothing you're going to be able to buy or any mechanical system that you can put money into will allow you to become stronger in the game. So that was a long-winded answer, but I hope that answered your question. And that's where we are now. So, boom. You have my word. I'll fix this. Is there anything else you think I should know about this case? Does that big monolith that Rosetta built count? That thing's been here about as long as me. It's been abandoned for 20 years, until all of a sudden, six months ago, it lit up with a giant beam of light. Oh, yeah, six good point by Guardian. Ago. Yep, right around the time we started getting this. He's not a dev, trouble. but he works I with the I there's got to be a connection between the two. But it's too dangerous around the monolith. No one can get close to there. I'll check it out then. Anywhere else I should go? Yeah. An area called High Banks, north of here. It's by the bridge and the south bank of the river. What is it? Sometimes junk or animal carcasses wash up there, so it attracts beasts and desperate people looking for food. You might find something useful there. Uh, Ulysses says, I don't care about pay to win. I like it, by the way. That, I mean, here's the thing. Pay to win games exist because I would argue that most people don't care about pay to win. But on the other side, there are people like me where I I take my games, I would say, pretty seriously. I I and and for me, I don't I there are parts if a game has elements that are pay to win, that directly affects my level of investment in the game. And I don't mean investment monetarily, I mean mentally mental investment. If other people can buy the accomplishments I don't want to buy and I want to work for, that diminutizes my accomplishments. Am I serious? Absolutely, I'm serious. Yeah, I don't like pay I don't play pay to win games. I'm not saying pay to win games shouldn't exist. I'm saying I don't play pay to win games. It's the same way I feel about gotcha and gambling. You know, just because I don't do gambling streams and I don't play gotcha games and I do that stuff doesn't mean I'm against them. I just, it's not for me. It's not what I want to promote. It's not what I want to do. So, um, you know, like if, if you do what you want, I'm, I'm an American, man. Freedom. You do what you want with your money. I'm not here to tell you what to, how to spend your money. I'm here to tell you my opinion and what I enjoy. Uh, <laughs> I'm all about the freedoms. Um, yeah. Why okay. do I feel like you have someone in mind? There was a woman. The town voted to kick her out. Collectively. She, well, she was also infected. Later, deep in high banks, I saw it. Her. She didn't look like Agnes. She became something else. Something what about Warframe? I can't describe. What about it? I think she might have been the very first to be infected. The first infected person? That sounds useful. When you say she was infected, then was she also... Pregnant? Yeah. I never said life out here was easy. Any other questions? I want to ask about that Mayfly Talon. Hey, what was up with that Mayfly who came here before me? Why didn't he solve the problem? Who the hell knows? I hadn't seen a Mayfly for years. Didn't even know there were any left in Nowcott. And he showed up two months ago wearing his cradle, looking all gloomy, depressed. We didn't have many other options, so I asked him if he could solve our problem. He didn't say much, took some food oh. and batteries as a deposit, then did some research. I saw him coming in and out for a few days. So in the end, he crept out without saying a word. All he left behind were some ripped up notes and empty cans. So, so you were you were saying what about Warframe? Because you're, you're I think you were trying to say you feel that Warframe is pay to win, and you were saying I don't play play to win ga or, uh, uh, pay to win games. Co totally valid. And here's the thing: um, Warframe is a great example of. The idea of pay to win changing and evolving into something that is under the umbrella, but different. 
because here's and 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 by doing that like unfortunately it's not like a binary it's not it's not black and white a game is not these days a game is not generally that is monetized a pay to win game or a not pay to win game what devs do is they skirt the boundaries they try to they try to monetize free to play games in a way that won't directly increase a player's power but there's no question it does increase a player's power so a good example of that is Warframe. Warframe is not pay to win, like in PvP. It's pay to progress faster. So you can farm items in Warframe or you can just buy them. Now here's the thing. A lot of people will tell you that pay to progress is not pay to win. A lot of people will tell you that pay to progress is pay to win. I used to be in the first camp, and now these days I'm more in the second camp. So, like, it's it's hard to say that when one person can spend three hours farming something, and the other person can instantly purchase it, it, it at that point it doesn't really matter in a multiplayer game. So, it's like, even, and here and, and here's the important distinction to make, and this is the last thing I'll say, because I know most of you do not give half a shit about what we're talking about right now. I appreciate you bearing with me. The point that I'm trying to make is, every gamer has a line like this, and on one side is pay to win, and on one side is not pay to win. And every gamer makes their own decision on what is acceptable monetization for them. And the problem is, everyone wants to be on one side. Everyone wants to be, I'm pay to win, or I'm not pay to win. That's where people want to be. But the reality of game dev is that games are actually somewhere in here. A lot of games coming out are in the middle. They're not fully pay to win, but they're definitely not fully not pay to win. And that means every single gamer has to make the decision. And pay to progress is a great example. Pay to progress is in the middle. So it's like, for me, it angles more towards pay to win. But for a lot of people, it angles more towards not pay to win. That's just something you got to decide on your own. And that's like an, that's an entire like hour plus long discussion on lots of things. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of where we are with that. So anyway, final thing I'll say to bring this back to the beginning, the whole thing that started this conversation, what about Warframe? Warframe for me personally is not pay to win enough for me not to play it. That's, that's, that's where we fall in. I do think that Warframe would technically classify as pay to win, but it is not pay to win enough for me to not want to play it. It does not, there, there's like, between my not pay to win and pay to win, there's like a level uh, towards pay to win. You have to get, you have to get close enough to pay to win for me to be like, I don't want to play that game. And Warframe doesn't hit that. So there you go. Yeah. Pay to win is a spectrum. It absolutely is. And it's only going to get worse. It's only, it's only going to get worse as we keep, as game dev continues. Wait a minute. What kind of notes? The bearded Were spider says, Co, please stop. They're full of broken symbols and jargon. Please stop it's what? It's impossible to understand. I toss them into the corner of the market's office if you want to see them yourself. Mm -hmm. How about pay to stop yapping and play the dang game? Dang. He really left without a trace. Some residents back to back regulars being fixed. If you didn't go to that swamp you came from, I am hurt. then you must have gone to a settlement called Greywater <laughs> Northwest Ouch. of here. Anyway, we never. All right, message game. received. We'll just play our games and look pretty for you. Okay. Recently. Sorry, I want me to do a spin while I'm at it. Would that be good? Put on a smile. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> Co spin. Yeah. Dance monkey dance. <laughs> okay. I'm good at dancing, I mean. Uh let's do this one first. Hey, Crimson Numbers with the 22 months. Thanks for being a constant source of sound reasoning. Well, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-mm. I only show up to this stream for co-spinning, and he's has not yet spun. 
Well, I'll just have Michael. We'll just have to meet up next TwitchCon, and I'll give you a private spin. How's that? Uh, a spontaneously triggered result, but uh, obviously inductive with traces of blanks intervention. A pregnant woman blanked, bewitched. A trial strong collective emotion. That's a lot of words that don't really connect to it. Um, I, hey ho, let's go. Private spin. You know it. You know it. I won't even charge you this time. A murder with a hundred months of sub. Congratulations on your 11 years of streaming, and I'm so happy and proud to be a part of the 11 months of that. Keep up the good work and sharing those good vibes from our buddy in murder, celebrating his 100 month sub today. You. Thank you, buddy. That is actually, I'm, I'm, it's never not gonna be crazy seeing subs at 100 months. That's just mind blowing. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, what do my face fight for? Okay. Investigate the abandoned hideout and look for anything unusual. I would be happy to do this. Oh, let's go to our base. We'll go over from there. I think we could move it now, too. Uh, uh, hey, Cozy Beard, how are you? Hello. Um. Yeah, you know, Shinok, I think, I think honestly, and it kind of sucks, but I do agree with you. We've we've had that discussion so many times on this channel, and I'm and I'm kind of I'm kind of in that same boat where it's just kind of like, you know what? I think I'm I'm almost to the point where I think I'm just going to make a pay to win video and just never talk about it again and just be like, go watch the video, <laughs> just, just go watch the video. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Ooh, I think we're starting to get the T2 stuff, maybe? That would be great. Uh, all right, while we're here, let's try this thing with Julia again. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to reposition our property, hopefully much further away from Julia's, so we can actually expand it a little bit. So we're gonna put, is this gonna be enough room? Let's do this. Let's okay. There's two like houses down here. Um, let me see if I can just like put this way up high, and then we'll expand it, and then we'll come back down here and see if we can reconnect it to Julia after the timer goes up. Can I get up here. Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. William Wallace says you already did make a video on pay to win. I knew that. I, I knew that. I was just seeing if you guys watched it or not. Yeah. I'm just checking in. You know how, you know how to. <clears throat> I gotta go watch that video and see if I agree with myself. Probably don't. Funny enough, it, it like, it, I, I, I say that as a joke, but my, my opinion and view on pay to win has evolved since I've been streaming. And now I'm kind of curious, like, I wonder where that opinion is. <laughs> I should probably go check at some point. <laughs> Everything I just said now has been my current view on pay to win. So I'm kind of curious if it's if that video still has that in it. All right, here we go. Uh, boop. Boop. Yes. Okay, great. So we can't move this again for another nine and a half minutes. So we'll wait for that. That's cool. What do we want to do while we're here? I don't think we need to do anything while we're here. I think I think we're good. We've got food, we've got water, we've got healing. I've noticed I don't need to heal nearly as much anymore, which makes me a little sad, honestly. I feel like they made this game a lot easier. But maybe it's just the starting area. 